So moving on to activity number two, um, and this is a little bit different um, because we're not here in the classroom for us to do this together. Um, so just so you know that, um, you know, the whole process of this, this, um, this unit is to be writing a final report about why Galetown is having such severe rainstorms. And in these reports, we're going to need to explain why rainfall is happening in the first place. So this routine is going to help us do that first part of how it is that rain falls. Um, so thinking about some of the words that we have, um, maybe like evaporation and water vapor. Um, based on what we've learned so far in this unit and the data we examined, I could create an ex a sentence that connects air parcel and water vapor. Um, so I could say that an air parcel contains water vapor when water um, from the surface evaporates. Um, so from this, we would have um, all, I if, if we were in my classroom, I would have had my students all um, answer the question, what causes rainfall in Gale Town? I would ask my students to use all of the words. I would challenge them to use all of the words um, and to come up with different sentences. And we would capture all of those sentences um, so that we could answer the chapter one question of what causes rainfall in Gale Town. Um, and so the challenge to use them would look something like this, um, the final product. So when water from the Earth's surface evaporates, it becomes water vapor in the air. When the air parcel is warmer than the surrounding air, energy will transfer out of the air parcel, causing the temperature to decrease. When the air parcel cools, the water vapor in the parcel condenses to form liquid water, which forms a cloud and can fall as rain. All right, so we're going to move on to activity number three. And you guys are going to model um, the effects of surface water on rainfall. Okay, um, so in chapter one, you've been investigating what caused um, rainfall in Galetown, and we're going to use the modeling tool, the effect of surface water, to show the amount of surface water caused different amounts of rain um, during the two different storms. Um, so we've got before they, we put in the lake and then after we put in the lake. And those were just those first two storms that we looked at. Okay, so we're gonna model, um, we're gonna label our models, um, so show the temperature of and water vapor inside the air parcel, show the temperature of the surrounding air, show the direction of energy transfer, using the arrow, show the amount of liquid, um, show the amount of rain, um, surface water, all these things. Okay. So to do this, I'm going to flip over to a different screen um, and show you what the model would have looked at, looked um, like had we um, had we been able to actually show this. Okay, guys. Um, so hopefully you are seeing um, our. Um, our modeling tool here. Okay, so our goal is to show the amount of surface water caused um, different amounts of rain. So the first thing we're gonna we're gonna show in our model is storm one. And so um, that's the first thing that I want to do. So I'm gonna actually label this. Oops. No wonder why this isn't working. It wouldn't let me. Okay. Storm one. Okay, and then I'm gonna show the temperature of and the water vapor inside the air parcel. So in storm one, this is before um before the um before the lake is put in. So before that, before that lake is put in, okay, we've got low, and I can't write small enough. Um and then we've got high um, temperature. We know that we've got to have um, a low amount of water vapor because that storm is not big enough. And then I'm gonna draw down here, or I'm gonna trace that there's a small amount of water. And then the temperature of that surrounding air is low because we know 
in order for this to happen, right, in order for a storm to happen, there has to be a temperature change from my, um, my air parcel to my surrounding air. So this before piece right here, actually I'm going to do a different color. This before piece, what it means, it's not before the storm, I'm sorry, before the lake was put in. This is before the rain. And guys, let me tell you, I have much better handwriting, but when I am using a stylus, it does not look as pretty as I would like it to. And so this after is, we're going to put this after stability, right? So thinking back, like, what do you mean after stability, Mr. Heo? I don't quite understand that. Wow. Okay. So the liquid water, it's just going to transfer over that that's the low amount here, but the temperature after stability is low. Remember that the energy, and I'm going to, I'm going to do some arrows here. The energy, actually, let's put them over here. The energy of that air parcel had to come out, right? So in order for that to happen, my temperature, my of my air parcel is going to turn low and then I'm going to have a small with maybe two little raindrops here and then my little evaporated water um my little evaporated so that's what storm one would look like so what I'm going to do is let's see erase and now let's look at what storm two would look like and again those before stabilities and after stabilities they're going to be the same because this is before before rain started falling and after rain started but the difference here is now we're going to say all right well the lake has been turned in so since the lake has been, I've got more water down here, right? And if I have more water available to um, evaporate into water vapor, well, I'm going to have high amounts of water vapor. Still going to have to have that high temperature because the surrounding air is low. All right. So after... This is stability, right? This is, okay. I'm gonna have same amount of water down over here on the lake, but the thing is, because I had a high amount of water vapor, I'm gonna have a bigger cloud. And because I'm gonna have a bigger cloud, I'm gonna have more rain. My amount of liquid water transfers over. But because there was that energy transfer, right, where that air parcel gave out some of its energy to the surrounding air, my temperature of that parcel is now low. And then that surrounding air temperature is low as well. All right, guys, hopefully that came through.